You know, it has been said that advertising is the art of making whole lies out of half-truths. Food producers are very adept at meeting this challenge. But luckily, there are watchdogs out there, such as the Center for Science and the Public Interest, CSPI. And the CSPI aims to shed light on some of the questionable marketing practices. And sometimes it even manages to use the legal system to bring about a change. Back in 1912, CSPI supported a class action lawsuit against the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group for advertising three beverages, 7-Up Cherry Antioxidant, Mixed Berry Antioxidant, and Pomegranate Antioxidant, uh, in a misleading fashion. These had been introduced in 2009 and featured pictures of cherries, blackberries, cranberries, raspberries, and pomegranates on their label, despite containing no fruit or fruit juice. The beverages also prominently featured the word antioxidant on the label, implying that antioxidants in the product came from berries. The actual ingredients listed on the berry drink uh, were filtered carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, potassium benzoate, natural flavors, and red 40. Where are the antioxidants? Supposedly, they were to be found in the natural flavors. But in the cherry beverage, vitamin E was added to justify the antioxidant claim. Now, leaving aside the question of whether supplemental antioxidants have any health benefit, the fact is that whatever antioxidants may have been present in these beverages were there in trivial amounts. That, though, did not stop a particularly egregious ad for the Cherry 7-Up that claimed its vitamin E content, quote, helps fight acne and prevent skin damage from ultraviolet rays, and it's even proven to help prevent skin cancer. There is no proof that vitamin E does any of these and to suggest such health benefits for a drink with a trace of vitamin E and loaded with sugar, that's an outrage. As a result of the lawsuit, the company removed these beverages from the market, but claimed the decision had nothing to do with the lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, right. CSPI also sued General Mills for misleading consumers with its Cheerios Protein cereal by suggesting that it was a better source of protein than the original Cheerios, and also for not declaring that it had a much higher sugar content than the original. Two tricks were used to claim a higher protein content. The serving size was listed as 1.3 cups for the protein version and one cup for the regular. And then a close look at the fine print on the claim of 11 grams of protein on the front of the box reveals that this includes the milk that would be consumed with the cereal. There is a bit of soy protein in the cereal, but it's insignificant. What is not insignificant is the 17 grams of sugar added to the cereal. As a result of the lawsuit, a settlement was reached, requiring General Mills to stop adding the 4 grams of protein from milk to the 7 grams of protein from cereal when it states the protein content on the front panel of the Cheerios protein boxes. General Mills was also required to state more prominently on the label for the Cheerios protein product that the cereal is sweetened. The company decided that meeting these requirements would crimp sales since the misleading claims were the crux of the advertising for Cheerios protein. General Mills decided to discontinue the product. As far as the original Cheerios go, it contains almost no sugar. It's one of the better cereals. But if you're looking for a protein boost, cereals are not the way to go. But CSPI sometimes does win these legal battles. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.